Hello and welcome to this session on Jenkins beginner tutorial and today we are going to learn how can we add different types of parameters in our Jenkins job and we will learn how can we add parameters of type check boxes radio buttons drop downs etc in this session and we will go very basic step by step so let's get started and let me go to my Jenkins window and I have already started my Jenkins on port 9191 and here I also have a sample job and this is a job so I'm going to go here and create parameters and for creating different types of parameters what you have to do is go to your Jenkins so I'm going to my Jenkins dashboard and go to manage Jenkins and go to manage plugins and here you have to go to your available section in my case I have already installed a plugin that I'm going to show you so I'm going to my installed section but you will find it in your available section and the plugin name is extended choice parameter plugin so this is a plugin using which we can extend the choices of our parameters inside Jenkins and also if you go to this page for this plugin you will find all the options and how to use it I will also make this link available in the notes and all the notes will be available in the description below this video so what you can do is in your available section go to this extended choice parameter plugin and then install this and once you have installed you can go to any of your job and I'm going to this particular job and I will go to configure and this is a very simple job where I am just printing a command on the console so I am using a Windows batch command because I am on Windows you can also use execute shell if you are on Mac or Linux and I have to parameterize this job so now if you go to the general section and here we have the option this project is parameterized if you click here and go to the drop down at parameter you can see we have all the earlier parameters like string, password, multiline etc but now we also have a new parameter type which is extended choice parameter and this you will only get after you add the plugin so if I click here extended choice parameter you can see we have got all these fields I can give any name so I am going to name it as message a description is optional now we have basic parameter types, multi-level parameter types and JSON parameter type. So if I click on basic, you have a, again a drop down from where you can select the type of parameter. So let us first select check boxes and, and then you have to say number of visible items. So let's say I will say four. So only four items will be visible and then you have to scroll to see the other items. Now delimiter is the character which will act as a delimiter and if you do not give anything comma will be a delimiter by default so now I will say choose source for value so I have this value I am going to add here so I am just going to give different values a comma b comma c comma d comma e and so on so this is just for example and comma will act as a delimiter here and then if you want to give any default value you can give that is optional and all this will be optional description I will just go apply and save and now if I go to build with parameters you can see we have got all these checkboxes and only four of the options are available on the screen and then you have to scroll to see the other options and what I'm going to do is I'm going to my command and instead of hard coding now I will take the parameter here if you are on Linux or Mac machines you will say dollar and the parameter name but in my case I am on Windows so I will say percentage and the parameter name and again percentage and I will apply save and now I will say build with parameters and I have got this option so I will click on any of the parameter and say build and if you see the 
console now you can see it is printing whatever I am adding in the parameters so it has taken my parameter from here now few things that you can note here is let me go back to the project and let me go to configure and here you can also select radio buttons so if I select radio buttons say apply save and now if I build with parameters you can see now we have radio buttons instead of check boxes again I will go back to the project and do configure and if you select single select and now if you apply save and say build with parameters you can see now it is a drop down and you can select a single value and if you again go to configure and say here multi select and say apply save build with parameters now you can see it is again a kind of a multi select option where you can select multiple values you can press the control key on your keyboard and press multiple values and if I build my project now let us see the console output you can see it has taken all the parameters now of course this is not a very good example but yes this is just for demoing that you can use these kind of parameters let me go back to the project and, and then there are other types of parameter types you can also select hidden now this will make the parameters hidden so you can give some default value but, but the parameters will not be shown while you are building with parameters and this is how you can use different parameter types in Jenkins I hope this session was useful for you please hit the like button and share with others and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel I will meet you in the next episode thank you for watching